everybody. This is Dennis from Power Auto Media, and we're here at PRI 2015. I'm with my friend Mike Giles from Superflow, and we're going to talk a little bit about what's post building that motor and how important what you do. We used to be the only company that does all three as far as flow bench, engine dyno, and chassis dyno, and how important that is to the consumer. Well, we can take an engine builder or a tuning shop, like from the piece parts, you know, we can test the cylinder head and intake manifold, make sure we're getting enough air into the engine, then we can put it onto the engine dyno once it's built, quantify everything it's going to do from power, torque, temperatures, pressures, uh, you name it, we can, we can measure it. And then from there, we can take it one step farther and, and do the complete package, put the engine in a vehicle and test it on a chassis dyno. Well, let's take it step by step, Mike. Let's first talk about more in depth that flow bench and how important that is. Now, we all know that it's a big old air pump. Air, more air goes in, more air comes out, more power at the output shaft. Talk about how important that is because, you know, there's a lot of great parts out there, but sometimes people don't think through. They just want to mix and match and not realize how important it is to use something like a flow bench and what the advantages are. Well, the main advantage, obviously, is it gives you the ability to quantify what you've done. So you start with your parts, you put the head together, you measure that, that's your baseline. You go from there, you do a little work on maybe the valve seat or you touch up the combustion chamber or work on some of the runners. We want to put more air in, just like you said, it's an air pump. So the theory is we put more air in, we put more fuel in, we make more power, and hopefully all that stays inside the engine. Well, after we've done that, make sure it'll stay inside the engine. we got to strap that engine down to an engine dyno. And one of the things that I don't think people really realize is tuning is more important on a dyno, an engine dyno, than they think. Because you really can fine tune if it's fuel injection, it's a mapping, if it's the right jets in your carburetor. Talk about how important that is with one of your engine dynos. Well, just like the flow bench, the engine dyno allows us to quantify what the engine's done now that it's together. So we can simulate with the software and the control system on the dyno, going down the back straightaway, we can simulate, uh, or we can step the motor to simulate what we need to do for fuel injection tuning. Um, of course, we can measure anything about the engine to understand what's actually happening inside of it as we're testing it. It's really just you know the next step in the process of putting an engine together to make sure that it does what we expect it to do, and when it gets into the customer's car, it's gonna run like we want it to. And now lastly, you have your full chassis dyno. Now my joke would be, you know, now you got that great motor, you attach it to an automatic transmission, you have hopes and dreams at one end and disappointment at the other. I, I can't tell, but I'm a manual guy. But it's that kind of thing that can help tune a guy's car, whether it's something like that great sprint car you have here in the booth or just a regular street car or even maybe a circle track car. Uh, yeah, the chassis dyno is always the heartbreaker. Uh, you know, everybody thinks they know what their car makes and the chassis dyno tells us. And sometimes those things are always on the same page. But, you know, then you know, we just talked about the evolution going from the cylinder heads and the intake manifolds to putting the engine together, running it on the engine dyno. The chassis dyno is the final step. There we have not only a perfectly tuned engine from the engine dyno, but we also have the complete system of the car. So we know what losses are going to happen through the drivetrain. We get things spinning, we make sure there's no interferences, make sure there's nothing wrong in the drivetrain. Um, and of course, we can load a chassis dyno, just like we do an engine dyno, so we can do all of our tuning again um, and really understand what's happening once it's in the vehicle. Now, give me the one thing that really sets Superflow apart. You know, we talked a little bit out in the opening about you being the one-stop shop for this. Talk about what the big difference is between Superflow and all your competitors. Well, like you said, we're a one-stop shop that can take you from component level, um, testing heads and stuff on the flow bench, to the engine testing and then all the way up to the vehicle testing on a chassis dyno. Um, and along with that comes a great relationship. You know, we're not, we're not just gonna sell you one product line and then that's it. You know, we can outfit your whole shop with all the test equipment you need to be a successful tuning shop, to be a successful engine builder. Uh, and that's a relationship that's gonna last. You know, you get to know your service guy, you get to know your sales guy, and uh, it's not a one and done and then you gotta go start all over at the next company. It's, it's you're here to stay. Mike, if people wanna know more about what you're doing, get a hold of Superflow, maybe get one of those chassis dynos, where do they go? Superflow.com. That's it. Nice and simple. Superflow.com. More PRI coverage right here. Power Auto Media.